dear students welcome to the english class in the previous classes we had been studying chapter 6 this is jordi's poem we had learned that jordi's father was bitten by a rattlesnake to cure himself he killed a doe and used its heart and liver to cure his wound to draw out the poison the next morning he felt better but his son jordi felt bad to have left to the farm in the forest starving and scared so he decided to bring it home he visited the forest where the fawn was left and he searched for it facing great difficulties uh, jody found the fawn he put the fawn in his arms and carried it home with great care he fed it by sharing the milk of his own and he was very emotional he the fawn grow stronger and better and started living with the happily so this is what we have studied in the lesson uh, this is jordis four hope all of you have understood and learned the lesson properly today uh, we shall discuss about the working with the text we can find in this text there are four questions so we are going to deal with the four questions okay the first question why did penny barcher allow jody to go find the phone and raise it penny barcher allowed jody to go and find the phone and raise it because he knew that its mother had saved his life he thought it was his responsibility to do something for the fawn now and it did not have a mother he didn't want to be ungrateful to leave the fawn in uh, starving alone in the forest okay now question number 2 what did doc wilson mean when he said nothing in the world ever comes quite free answer dr wilson mean that since the baxter family had taken away the fawn's mother's life they ought to help the fawn they needed to take care and save it from starvation hope all of you have understood the second question now come to the third one how did jody look after the phone after he accepted the responsibility for doing this jody acted like a parent to the phone he looked after the phone and gave him milk in a bowl when he did not drink the milk in this way jody dipped his fingers and milk can gave it to the fawn it is hinted in the chapter that jordis offers to forgo his share of milk uh, to make her mother agree to have the fawn in their house question number 4 is how does jordis mother react when he hears that he is going to bring the fawn home why does she react in this way jordi's mother does not want to keep the fawn at her home she is reluctant to the idea of jordi she reacts in this way because uh, she had no idea how they were going to feed it as uh, there wouldn't be enough milk for it Uh, at your home so these are the some of the uh, working with the test four questions and their 
answers. All of you write it in your notebook and study properly. Okay, now we have comprehension check in the third part. I think we had not discussed it. So how did Jody bring the phone back home? How did Jody bring the phone back home? Jody uh, hoisted the phone up in his arms. And he carried it uh, with him in his arms. He stopped it to rest in between and let it follow him for a small distance uh, before carrying it again. Comprehension check third two. Jody was filled with the emotion after he found the phone. Can you find at least three words or phrases which shows uh, how he felt? So when Jody laid his hand on the phone's neck, the touch made him delirious. Its acceptance of Jody uh, made his heart thump. And again, he felt light-headed when the phone sought him and followed him. Now comprehension check third part three. How did the deer drink milk from the board? Jody poured milk in a small gourd that held it out to the phone. It buttered it and suddenly smelling the milk. He served it precariously from spilling over the floor. It could make nothing of the milk in the gourd. And Jody dipped his fingers in the milk and thrust them into the phone's a soft, wet mouth. It sucked greedily and it pleated frantically and buttered it. Now for question, why didn't the phone follow Jody up the steps as he had thought it would? Okay, the phone did not follow Jody up the steps as he had thought it would because he did not know what to do. He was accustomed to a life in the forest. And had never uh, encountered something like the steps. Okay, these are the comprehension check in the part 3 for questions. That is also we have discussed. So, write all of you the important questions in the notebook. And write it and send to me as early as possible. And study the lesson. Come prepared for the live session. Thank you.